Cannot take it anymore. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, it is going to be a haul and also what I got in Paris. I didn't necessarily do any shopping in Paris. I didn't go with the intention to shop. It was just a work trip for me. When it came to shopping, I had nothing in mind whatsoever. It wasn't until the last day, it was only a couple of hours before the stores closed and I went to a couple of them. I went to YSL and Celine. Celine is probably one of my favorite at the moment. I've just been loving everything from the Triumph line. And now I want the Triumph handbag and I have to go to Paris to get it. The price difference is so crazy. You may as well just get on a flight and just go get what you need because there's no reason to buy things in the States. It's such a rip off. But first, I am pretty sure you probably want to know what I am wearing. On my lip, I have Kuala Lumpur by Citizen Cosmetics and I line the outer corners with MAC Chestnut. My earrings are vintage croissant earrings. I got them from the market from Mexico City. This little bustier top, you've seen it before from my Kate Dupe. This is from Manana Public Factory. It is so cozy and so perfect. What I got in Paris, I only got a couple of things, so let me show you. The only thing that I get a lot of was skincare and body wash. There's something about the body washes in France that are so good. Even though they like cost six euros, they smell so incredible. That is one thing that I feel over here. For you to find some really good scented body washes, it costs you an arm and a leg. But I just feel like a lot of the body wash friends, they cost so little, like six euros or five euros, and they smell so incredible. I got the Avent because Avent is probably one of my number one French brand. I love this one. I also got the Caudalie one, which is in the shower. So first thing first is going to be my new Celine Triomphe sunglasses. I know you saw an unboxing on my channel of these sunglasses before. These are my second pair. I have my first pair over here, which is the black. I'm so glad that I got the black. I can honestly say the tortoise, it is so stunning. But I really, really, really love the black as well. I mean, look at these. These sunglasses, if you've been thinking about them, just stop thinking and just go get them because I feel they work with everybody's face shape. These sunglasses are just universal in my opinion. They are so good. And Celine sunglasses are overall my favorite designer sunglasses. They were actually the first pair of designer sunglasses that I got in Paris back in, I think, 2018 or something. The price difference was so big. I also had to get them in the tortoise color because the tortoise color is a dream. Everyone have the tortoise color and I don't blame them. They are just so stunning. Again, the same okay these retail for 510 in the states by the time you add tax that's like 570 or something in paris these were only like 300 euros plus you get your tax back so i ended up paying under 300 dollars for this maybe around 290 or 280 or something the tortoise they're just so stunned i also had to get them the next thing that i got from celine is a perfume I love niche fragrances i don't necessarily like the fragrance that everyone is wearing although i love baccarat rouge but i am getting to the point where i have to retire baccarat rouge because literally everyone everywhere i go smell like baccarat rouge now and cannot take it anymore so i am looking for like a new signature fragrance Although there is something about Baccarat that is so seductive, like men cannot stay away from you when you wear that fragrance. They literally want to sniff you. Yeah, that's Baccarat. This one may be a good contender. I decided to get La Peau Nue because I did get a sample of black tie. I love black tie so much. Another one of my favorite is Dans Paris. Oops. It comes in this beautiful white ceiling box with the Triomphe stamp on it. And then when you open it, like, my goodness, like, how gorgeous is this bottle of perfume? Like, what? Like, this is so stunning, and I love the fluted side. This bottle is just... The price difference, I would say, wasn't that much for the perfume. In the States, I think this retail for, what, 240 Over there, it's, like, 210 euros. I mean, you still save $40 or $50 since you get part dollars back for the tax. You still save 50 bucks, so it's still something. We really, really love La Peau Nuit. This smells 
so incredible actually let me spritz a little well i don't like to spritz clothes that i wear in the house every day this smells oh so incredible actually this might be my new signature scent this is so so unique i believe this fragrance is inspired by like the french actresses like Catherine Deneuve and Jane Birkin from the 70s 80s it's kind of like an ode to those actresses definitely check Celine fragrances if you are into niche fragrance the next fragrance that I got whilst I was there was Eau Du Well by Diptyque if you didn't know this is my favorite perfume from Diptyque I get so many compliments on this perfume every time I wear this I remember when I lived in Jersey every time when I would go to Wegman to go get wine literally all the men there would always compliment me that I smell good and some of them would be like what are you wearing because I want to buy it for my wife I have a call in 10 minutes so let's see if we can do this it's all the world I've already taken it out I went out of my last one I ended up getting it when I was there again this perfume smells so incredible actually this is a perfume that I would wear on my wedding day this would be my wedding scent I love this perfume so much because it smells so good at the same time it's not overpowering I don't know it has a softness to it I don't know I don't necessarily smell in other perfumes at the same time it lasts all day long and sometimes even after you wash your clothes it's still on your clothes so I really 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 love that about Eau Du Well let me leave it on the screen so you guys can check it out but everything will be linked below the next thing that i got whilst i was in paris i just restocked on my chanel powder which is the number 40 le beige i really like this powder i've been using it over the last four years and it does its job i may go back to using the mac powder because i do find the fragrance in this it's a little bit too much and i'm at the point where i cannot do the fragrance anymore the next thing that i got is chanel nail polish that is one thing that i could say chanel has some of the best nail polishes on the market my favorite colors for nude is ballerina and for red is gitan 510 and i wanted a brown for this fall winter and when i saw this this is called 955 inspiration i thought this was such a beautiful color and the perfect one i think i had this in my basket and i never checked out and whilst i was at the airport i thought mm, why not get it here but for french pharmacy you know when you go to paris you have to go to the french pharmacies i stuck up on my favorite morning moisturizer this is the rich cream by aven this is the rich one they have two versions of this the light and the rich i really really love the rich for the fall winter time because my skin is a little bit more drying i do have the light one it's actually in my beauty cabinet another thing that you have to buy when you are in paris is the nukes all l'huile prodigueuse i love this one so much it smells so incredible like oh if you just want to feel sexy this is it it's to the point where you don't even have to wear perfume when you spray this on your skin and you can spray it on your skin your hair and your face so this is like a multi-purpose oil again they do have one with sparkles in there but i didn't want that one i just wanted the original and this is like a classic that you must have i'm pretty sure you can find most of these things on amazon but i prefer getting them when i'm in france and i also love to get the hotel mal by avin i love this i love the spray i know the cordial is like one of the most popular one but i really 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 love this spray by avin like i said avin is probably my number one french skincare brand if i had to pick one I mean, I can't pick one brand, but if I had to pick one brand, one skincare brand to probably wear for the rest of my life, Avon would probably be the top contender on that list. And as you saw, I got the body wash. I got a lot of other Avon stuff, but they're already packed in my suitcases. I got a lot of like simple size face wash, more body washes. So I typically pack my, my little travel bag. Um, it's always in my suitcase and never leave my suitcase. So that way when I am traveling, there are certain things I don't have to worry about, you know, my toiletries, I don't change them. So I always buy like those travel size or the smaller size when I travel and they stay in my suitcase. Whenever I'm ready to travel, it's ready. I don't have to take anything out of my thing. The other thing that I got in Paris was this blue sweater. I love this blue sweater. I wanted something in this color for a really, really, really long time. And I'm so happy I was able to find this. Well, this is not from Paris. I got this from the farmer's market in Le Mans, which is in Loire Valley outside of Paris. It's like an hour on the TVG. On the TVG. I love this color so much. You also have it in the green, which 
I want to get now. If, I'm gonna tell my friend Rosie if she ever goes to the market, if she could buy me the green one because it is so cozy. When I tell you this is so warm again, there's no tag or anything like that. Oh, it's actually made in Italy. It does have a tag. Ah, it's 20% viscose, 60% acrylic, and 20% wool. I'm definitely gonna tell my friend Rosie to buy me the green one. I didn't have enough cash, that's why I didn't buy the green one. But when I tell you this is one of the most beautiful blue sweaters that I've ever found and I've wanted that. Didn't necessarily get in Paris, but I saw it whilst, in, whilst I was in Paris. I went to the mango store to look for like a striped sweater because I didn't necessarily have enough warm clothes there and then it was a lot colder than I was anticipating. So I went to mango and then I saw the skirt. I'm like, oh my God, I need this in my life. I think this is one of the best mini denim skirt on the market. When I tell you like the way this is constructed in the pleats and everything, this is perfection. I am obsessed. So I had them check. It was sold out in the extra small in all the stores. So that same night, I just went on the website and just order it to come here. And I'm so sad I couldn't get it in Paris because it would have been way cheaper. Selling you the price difference is insane for the European brands. Um, I really, really love this mini skirt. I think this is like a cute little trendy piece. That's what I'm saying. When you're doing trendy, you can get something from the high street, something that necessarily don't cost that much if you're trying to do something trendy. But if it's a classic piece that you know you're gonna wear all the time, I would say invest in those. So now let's move on to the other half of this video, which is a haul about some really key pieces that I've gotten recently that I'm so excited to share with you. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know. And also, if you know your brands, you already know which brand this is. This is Totem. Totem makes my favorite tanks. If you are shopping for tanks, definitely get them from Totem. Honestly, they make some of the best ones out there. The quality is insane. And I think for the price, it's not horrible for like a designer. Theirs cost about $100, but if you use my code on Farfetch, you can take 10% off. So I end up paying less for them. Definitely check Farfetch. I do find Farfetch sometimes they do have discount on the Totem. Some of the Totem items and their tanks. I am obsessed and I didn't realize they have a store in Soho. I'm just like, how could I not know? The store is, of course, it's very Totem. Not like very that Scandinavian styles like super minimalist i mean if you know anything about totem you know this style i don't have to describe it to you but if you're in soho definitely check it out i had no idea i am obsessed with their tank this is my fifth one already and this is my second white one this one it is so amazing again i've worn it about five times already <laughs> I, I got this one on Farfetch, but when I went to the store, I got the gray one. I don't think I've ever seen the gray one on Farfetch. I've only seen the black and the white, which I have. And when I saw the gray one, I had to have it, especially I've just been having a gray moment. I've just been obsessed with everything gray. I don't even know when this obsession came over me because I'm not even a gray person. I remember one of my colleagues, Tiffany, she only wore gray. like all the shirts that she wore were gray and then i was like tiffany you always in gray she was just like gray is like her favorite color or something like that but i used to always say gray doesn't go with me gray is a color that i'm really 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 enjoying at the moment so i had to get the two time tank speaking of tank i got the kate bralette you guys know i have the shorts to this this is the matching bralette to that i made the mistake of getting a size medium because it looked so tiny on the model but i was wrong because i should have gotten my size a small because this one is a little feels a little bit loose i would have been better off with my size it is what it is again this is a little bralette for me to just wear underneath blazers and this one is perfect let's move on to the frankie shop portion of this haul i've just been obsessed with frankie shop because now i feel like i have the body to wear frankie shop stuff you guys know i already have the as a taupe color in this blazer but i had to get it in the black as well even though i had ordered this a few months ago i returned it because i felt like it was way too oversized you've probably seen that in one of the vlogs but at the time i still had my boobs that was pre breast reduction now that i've had my breast reduction i went to the store if you didn't know they moved the store temporarily to soho because they're renovating 
less i hope they don't go back to the lower east side because i hate going there to be quite honest soho is so convenient for me the reason why i never go to the frankie shop it's because it's all the way in less well it's only like a 10 minute walk but who wants to do that if i'm in soho i just want to do everything that i need in soho so i truly 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 hope that they see how much traffic they get in soho and i hope they keep the store there because yeah going to lower east side is just too much for me the quality of the oversized blazer it's fantastic it's always sold out all you have to do is put yourself on the mailing list they're going to let you know when it's back in stock and then you could just order it but you just have to be sure you order it as soon as you get that email notification because if you wait longer it's gonna sell out but they always bring it back because this is like a classic part of the permanent line but it's just always sold out and if you're lucky enough if you stop at the store you may find it because the stuff is kind of like very sporadic you may go to the store you find it it may be sold out online but they have it in the store and vice versa so it's like pretty weird but yeah the quality of this blazer is pretty insane it's so heavy you can wear it in the fall time you can wear it underneath your coat in the winter but it's pretty bulk you guys know that i have the gelso trousers from the frankie shop these are probably my favorite trousers from the frankie shop I've tried the B trousers or the Bea trousers. I'm not the biggest fan. I just don't like the fabric they use for their B line. I prefer the Gelso. The Gelso, I need it in like every color. The trousers fit me so nice. I had to have them taken in. I love, 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 love the fit of these trousers. They fit me the nicest and i saw the matching blazer of course i couldn't pass the opportunity to get the matching blazer again all of this i get them on farfetch this blazer it's still oversized but it's still more fitted than the regular oversized blazer again i'm not the biggest fan of the b blazer i actually ordered it i'm returning it it's right here i had to have the matching blazer if there's another blazer that i recommend from the frankie shop is this one this one i got an extra small extra small small is the smallest for their oversized one it's only one size you can't pick the size but for this i would say um pick the extra small well i wish they had an even smaller size than this one it would have been way better for me i would have liked it to be slightly more fitted but this is what i wore to the hermes store and everyone as soon as i walked in literally everyone was looking at me they were like whoa like everyone is giving me a compliment on this look because it looked so good Mm. And this is the other oversized one that I bought. I think I featured this in a haul. I'm not sure if I, if I ever posted the haul. This is the other one in desert tube that I got. Again, this is the oversized. I have it in both color that it comes in. Another pair of pants that I got from the Frankie shop. I don't remember the name for these. Are these cream pants. They list them as white on the website. But when, I, when they came, it wasn't white. I was a little bit disappointed because I was expecting white. But turns out I end up loving these so much because I think these are kind of like on the casual side for me. So I love, love, love wearing these. Uh, this is 100% cotton. It's like a really, really cool material. I really, really love them. I'm actually going to take them to the tailor right now to get them taken in because they are a little bit long. Cos make some of my favorite pants as well. My only problem for Cos is just all their pants are like way, way too oversized. What I love about Frankie Shop, it's oversized, but at the same time, it has shape to it. But Cos is everything oversized boxy. That's their aesthetic, nothing against it. If that's what you're going for, absolutely. So um, I love pants from Cos as well, because it's not all the time that I want a more kind of like suited look or fitted look. I do love kind of like the boxy looks from Cos, and I got these camo pants. Again, I'm not necessarily in the business of buying camo stuff anymore, but I realized I don't necessarily have anything camo because I had gotten rid of everything. But I thought it would still be good to just have one pair of pants um from cos or just one pair of pants in the camel color that i can wear all the time i really 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 love these i wore them the other day back to back they are amazing what i love about cos pants i don't have to have them take it in they are at the perfect length because they make stuff for short people like us i am 5'3 next thing that i got is this beautiful buckley green top i really really love the whole thing about wearing sequins during the day because i actually prefer it than the nighttime because i feel like it could be a little bit serious and i feel like a fun way to inject some sequin into your wardrobe is to buy it in the top and you can wear it with some denim and this piercing green color it is so stunning and so vibrant 
and it looks just as beautiful on camera you know sometimes camera doesn't do something justice but this is one of the pieces where the camera is doing it more justice please stunning i love it this is a size four by the way i also love that silver detailing um on here again i got this on sale this was only 29 bucks it does come with a matching skirt i didn't get the matching skirt i do and want the to biggest get. announcement that i have to let you guys know is sarah flint and dadu chic moi is here this is a major career moment for me like every time i look at the shoes i have them on display right here every time i look at them i just almost want to cry because this has been one of the highlight honestly one of the highlights of my career having my own shoe you know i've collaborated with sarah flint this is from the vienna collection sarah flint took us on the trip to vienna last october to get inspiration for this shoe and let me show you what i came up with i mean my shoes are so beautiful i had to order myself my, yes i paid with my own money i had to order a pair even though i get to get pairs from, i had to go and support my own collaboration because if i wouldn't buy them myself you know i would not have made them but sarah flint is my favorite shoe designer she is so freaking talented her design is just out of this world and i'm so happy we work together closely this was this was a collaboration collaboration this is not just me putting my name on something and even if i was just putting my name on something sarah flint is a place that i wouldn't mind doing that but no this was a collaborative efforts you know we work together i remember being in mexico city um she, they were sending me like samples of the tissues and everything so i can choose from for the shoe and then we had a call like every month or i don't remember it was very frequent we can go over like the shoe detail and design i knew i wanted a sling back let me actually show you the shoes it feels surreal to actually have my own shoe and drum roll Ta-da! these are the shoes that i came up with you guys know i love a sling back the sling back is my favorite type of shoe shape of shoe because i find it is the most comfortable you guys know i am all about comfort and if i was ever going to have a shoe it would have to be a sling back i just knew i wanted a sling bag because what i love about sling bags they are in all year long shoes so it's not like a sandal or like a mule where you cannot wear it all year long this i can wear in the winter i can put some socks on i can wear this in the winter and also if you're not gonna go anywhere that far you can wear this in the winter so obviously this is inspired by vienna the gilded ceilings the opera the palaces and all that thing the color i went for this brown suede because you guys know this is kind of like my favorite color um in terms of shoes because i think it's the most the most versatile i mean black shoes you may think black shoes are the most versatile i do find sometimes black shoes can be limiting but i do feel something like this you can wear it with literally any color it does not matter absolutely love this brown with the suede this is like amber suede the color is amber suede and i love the suede it's kind of more of like the everyday aspect of the shoe and then we went for like the satin heel i wanted a little bit of satin to it and also in the cap toe because i love the whole cap toe shoe of course i am a pointy toe kind of shoe because i think pointy toe elongate your feet they make your feet look so attractive i love pointy toe for literally all my shoes i don't like round toe because round toe i feel it's not flattering on every foot especially if you have small feet it will make your feet look so frumpy my god i stay away from like round toe anything i absolutely love a pointy toe pointy toe i think it's the most classic shape when it comes to shoes to be able to see my name on a shoe it's just incredible was that do chic like oh take a look guys We we're gonna have a tassel but we realized the tassel would actually make it a little bit too too dressy we decided not to go for the tassel to just make it more able for every day which is why i love about these shoes because these shoes you can literally wear them every day with everything and at the same time because of the satin and that um detail over here you can dress it up you can wear this to the opera and if wearing super high heels it's not your thing you want to be comfortable so this is something i would wear with like a simple black dress and wear to the opera you can go on my instagram to actually see how i style this i would perhaps include the picture with me 
getting dressed um, in a little black dress. Again, this goes with so many things and I am just so, so, so happy. Thank you again, Sarah Flint. Sizing, sizing one true to size. Comfort, when it comes to comfort, you already know. Sarah Flint is all about not sacrificing style for comfort. That's their whole thing. She built her brand on that. But I am utterly obsessed with my shoes. I mean, obviously they're mine. But to be able to see these in person, I cannot wait for my mom to get her pair and for her to wear it to go to church and everything like that. Again, this is a shoe you can wear to brunch with the girls, to church with your mom. I would even wear this to the club to be quite honest. I am shameless. But yes, these are my shoes. My shoes are finally here. Do tag me on Instagram or wherever, whenever you are wearing the shoes. Let me know when you guys get yours because I am nosy. I would love, love, love to know. And a brand that I think you guys should start thinking about investing in, especially if you like to wear your pieces over and over again. Ethos or beliefs, it's all about re-wearing the pieces that you have. They produce small batches, which I love very sustainable they are based in Toronto I believe the brand is Riona they make the perfect neutral pieces I got these brown pants from them my goodness they are so amazing I wish I would have gotten an extra small though because the small it's a little bit loose I keep forgetting I have no bottom I always have to go the smallest size I love the elasticated back elasticated back on pants are like one of my favorite details because it makes it so comfortable on you especially for me i don't like anything kind of like tugging over my belly so this is amazing and also brown i told you guys before brown is a color that i'm trying to add more to my wardrobe definitely definitely check them out also got this piece from their new collection this is a simple black um long sleeve i am going to be living in especially when i'm going out you can even wear it with the brown that you can just wear to go out their pieces are really 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 nice i took a size small i also got this cute little crop top from them to wear on any blazer again these are just basics what i love about them they have really really great basics you cannot go wrong with something like this because this is something that you're going to be wearing all the time. I really, really, really love this. And like I'm wearing today, I could just be wearing that. And they have this beautiful shirt. This is called the Artist Shirt. And just like its name, it is so cool. It has a pocket on the left side over here. The material is amazing. The quality is pretty good. You got such good quality which i'm very very happy about i think it's great to invest in a white shirt love love this one i love this shirt so much it's so so good and the last item in this haul is this blazer this rustic blazer from nordstrom this is from their brand open edit this is a size extra small because this one kind of one's pretty big i had a small i had to exchange it for an extra small Again, this is such a beautiful, beautiful kind of like burnt orangey color that I can wear. And not only in the fall time, this is something that I would wear in the spring and summertime as well. This is what I really, really love about this blazer. I really love this blazer. Again, I think this is such a great color to just kind of like pop on here and there. Because it's not every day that we have to wear like a black blazer. Here and there, I think it's great to have a color like this. This has been it for what I got in Paris and also haul slash announcement. I hope you guys enjoy. Do let me know if you get my shoes, my Rose Parker slang, that's what they are called. Um, do let me know if you get yourself a pair. I'm going to leave the link down below for you to check them out. Please tag me when you do wear them and when you do get them. I will catch you guys in my next video. Now I have to go have lunch and get cozy. See you next time. Bye-bye.